Ha! Only a few days. And this beautiful red velvet is starting to show some reddening. It's going punk. Pink. <laughs> punk. Anyway, inspection time. I feel like cleaning up. It's a good day to clean up, so I have to get my things ready. I want to tackle this area today, just only this bit. I'm going to start basically with this ones here but I need me gloves and also I need to clear out all these things that's in my way so because look if I step in here I'm gonna be stepping on that one so it's a lot of work cleaning this up and then this one are you having oh I just drop another leaf okay that's okay that's already dead leaf this one here I just want to see that one that might still grow a baby so don't throw it away but look at the state of these plants here i'm gonna have fun cleaning this up and then this one there's a big bowl of onslow yes were you on slow i think you are oh silhouette oh my goodness silhouette 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 this one is on slow are you on slow <laughs> yeah i think that one's on slow but anyway i'm gonna need some cleaning up and oh i see millie bug i see millie bug I'm going to have fun cleaning up. Not right now. I'm going to go this afternoon. I'll check them. All the state of these plants. I'll look at that beautiful one there. What is your name? I think this is... Oh my goodness. I don't even know your name. But you have a name somewhere. Never mind. But I think I better bring this inside because I'm going to have fun with this one. So I got a few already inside that needs cleaning up. But look, there's some little tenderness with the frost. So that's why I can't do anything with that one until later on. I have to let it thaw out first. Once it's defrosted, then I can start cleaning up. And you as well. Oh, I have to bring you inside too. And right now, I am cleaning the bird poop that this poopy bird has pooped on my <laughs> tablecloth. Okay. Hey, baby pee, mommy doing wipes okay look at this ah oh, my goodness look at that did you chew on that one pedro look there's a mark there right eh? and you're leaving all your dandruff there anyway mom is working here and look at the poop that's why there's a placemat here that's for <laughs> a place poop <laughs> a pooping place for pedro Ah, oh, hang on. Look. Tissue. I've been crying. Control, Alt, Delete. I just found out these were actually mugs. But I'm just going to turn them into pots and put some succulents in it. So maybe Hawothia. Anyway, I have to find a pot that will fit the Control, Alt, Delete. So I don't Control, Alt, Delete that with my elbow. This is my other channel. So if... My lovelies on my succulent channel doesn't know. I have another channel called Liz Create. And this one, I've got 152,000 subscribers in it. But I have been neglecting this channel for a long time because I was busy with the succulent channel. But also, there's another story with that. I've been just replying to comments. Hang on, just pause that. And of course, some of them got me teary-eyed. Okay, so I'm just doing newest, but anyway. So, that's why this one saying, okay. Uh, sorry, Cat44, <laughs> if you're watching this. I'm laughing now, but a while ago I was tearing up because of this. So I said, thanks for watching. Because about time you started making videos again, Lee, so much. Uh, miss them. So I said, thanks for watching, Kat. It upsets me to say this. I did cry, but now the boss is gone. That's what upset me. I have more time to make videos. Have a lovely day. But after I blew my nose and everything, all I did was close this and boom. <laughs> Hello, my darling. So this is my screen saver. This is what I see whenever I feel lonely. I just look at his handsome face. This was actually taken on that spot over there. And as you can see over there, I haven't done those dead pots yet because this whole area now I can do whatever I like because 
I'm just leaving here on my own. Hello, my darling. Sometimes I forget that it's a screensaver. So if I sit here and I just glance over there and I see his face, such a handsome man, then I feel better and the budgie look at him and baby P is sleeping he wants to spend a lot of time with mommy but now anyway Pedro I'm gonna have to chuck this away and clean up are you just gonna sleep there baby P oh he's actually more sad I think and also he's manifesting what I feel or how I feel so that's why I'm trying to be happy because this budgie is psychic if I pretend to just be happy, then he's, I can sort of translate what he's feeling as well because of the way he behaves. And in the morning when I come down, I have to make sure, like, I get motivated to just be happy in it, baby P. And he's been sleeping a lot in that corner the past few days, even with the sun, and he hates the sun. And yet, just so he can be... Close to daddy. Hey, baby P. You miss daddy, baby P. Oh, poor bird. Poor birdie, 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 birdie. Oh, oh. But then now that I sort of put the boss here and I become happier, then also baby budgie is also feeling a little bit happier. So... That's the reason why I have to really get cracking or else this poor baby bird's going to die. And I don't want that. And, oh, I forgot my breakfast. I forgot. Okay, we had, what did we have today, Pedro? On the side here, I had my coffee so I don't accidentally spill it over here. And this is, oops, sorry. Sorry, bird. I woke you up. Look, he's making a lot of mess again. So this is my breakfast. Well, croissant and coffee. And then now I have my fruit. Mm. One banana, one orange, dried fruit, and of course, some goji berries. Mm. This is just a preview of what I've got going on in here. I have to clean up. And so I have to do all these ones. The first one I'm going to do is this one, but I'll do that on another video. I don't like it when it's windy. Oh, the bird is complaining. I don't know if you can hear that. Yes, baby P? Are you complaining, baby bird? Hey? You want to come with mommy? I'm not going out. I'm just staying here. The minute he doesn't see me, he just... Tweet, 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 tweet. He gets stressed, aren't you, baby bird? Okay. Mommy, kissy Pedro. Mommy, kissy Pedro. How about we do an ASMR blowing on Pedro video? Like that? Mm. You love your mommy. Look at all your feathers again, baby P. Anyway, so this is what we've been up to, baby bird in it. Look at you, so cute. He's molting as well. Hey? Oh, poor baby bird. Who's a cutie little baby bird? Kissy, kissy, kissy. See, you don't like my finger, but you like. My mouth, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So I've got some orchid food. Hang on, I just need the spoon. I normally do this in the laundry, but anyway. Half a teaspoon or half of this spoon that's provided is what I use for two liters of vata and... I usually have some water sort of left there to steep up that I use but anyway but this will do as well and we're gonna go around and water my dead plants I'm gonna start with I um, got clothes drying I got my sewing machine because I'm still not finished doing what I'm doing anyway my poor plants here is just I use this to water my indoor plants and they seem to love it when uh, especially when I use it when I water them but <laughs> they're all dry and I feel really bad this is the sensor area so there you go and now my little Ludicia or Lu is that Ludicia yeah this color 
We water you as well. That one needs to be repotted. Got that little pot there, but anyway, we go to my Hoya. Hoya, Hoya. So, all these pots are pretty pots. I just use them as a cache to hold uh, the water. Also, this one, this is an orchid, so that is really dry. Look at that. That's like really um, terrible mum. But anyway, I've got another two Hoyas in the corner here. I think there's two. Yes, so there's that one, the mini bell up the top, and also this Chiang Mai. They actually don't mind being watered a lot. So, and the only time they die on me is <laughs> when I don't water them. So this is like terrible. I'm terrible mum. So anyway, just still a little bit. So two liters of water goes a long way so I've got another Hoya here so this is actually Velosa this is actually my favorite because it's got hairy so it's my favorite along with the fishtail one which I actually killed oh sorry I think it's upstairs yeah I haven't brought it down did I I can't remember so this Velosa I don't know if you can see that they got this it feels like a piece of felt I never felt a piece of felt that felt the same as this felt felt when first I felt the felt and this felt that. <laughs> anyway, so this one, when first I felt the felt of this Hoya. See, on my kitchen window sill here, I have this aloe that was given to me as a gift by Nora Garden 89. This is ages ago. This is already been in water. See, look at that. Started growing roots. So this was like red and disheveled and really, really dry. Almost dead when I got it. And then I just kept topping it up with water. And it's been living off water for over a year now. Give you more water. Because you've gone down. <laughs> so, who says succulent can't live on water? Yes, they can. And yes, they have. Now I have to fill this one that I just topped up. This one too. So... Anyway, oh, that one, my ripsal is over here, which was only, I started with just one. That was a gift from a friend of mine <laughs> that I kept forgetting. You can tell that I keep, see, look, that one's really, really dry. My windows need cleaning as well, so there's a lot of things I have to do. I just got my scaffold outside. How about I just go out and show you? Okay, I'll continue my watering later on. This plant actually was growing on the other side. There were my mini greenhouses and that got hit by the frost. This whole area here, this part of the plant. What is your name? Euphobia something. Oh no, it's monodenium. Uh, Ellen Becky, I. It says $4 per stem. So it's quite a cheap plant. But I think I've got, only had three stems and those are new growth already. So they're quite fast growers, but they're not going to grow if I don't water them. But anyway, so I can't water them. So really, this one, I really need to bring this inside. Because that part was exposed and look, it's gone limpy. That's from the frost. Sort of damage from the frost. See like that? So I have to chuck that off, but I have to take that inside. I've been meaning to clean that area over there. I didn't have time to do that because the day just passed so quickly. But anyway, I got some visitors as well and that's why I didn't have a chance to do that but this area I've done before I've done a video showing cleaning this up and I sort of tidied this up yesterday so that's starting to look a little bit presentable to my liking and then I saw this <laughs> little agate here this is just the matrix of the agate this is how it's formed so when lava just bubbles up those minerals that are trapped in there gets cooked up and starts forming all the basically silica. So those are silica, which turns to agates. And they come in different colors as well, so which is amazing. So hang on, I think I've got that the reverse. There you go. So you can stay there. Oh, so beautiful. I love you, lovely Q. Those little flicky things, it's just so beautiful. I got my car here last week. I finally transferred the name to my name. Oh my goodness, what happened to you? So this one, I'm crying because <laughs> this whole bunion. <laughs> 
got hit by the frost, but the center part of it is still okay. But the other ones, look, it's all soft and limpy, that one. So I think when we do have minus, because we had minus six, I think probably it went minus seven. So when we do have forecast of heavy frost, I should really cover that. But I just want to go here and that really bugs me so i really need to clean that up so i got my see all that underneath so all the moss Oof. so it just bothers me so the entrance of the house needs to be speak and span <laughs> speak and speak <laughs> speak and span is that speak and span yeah has to be nicely clean and look so beautiful okay anyway but also this okay is the condition of my corner here see potting mix everywhere because those potting mix are supposed to go into this big pot over here and that other potting mix over there can you see that one i'm gonna see look that's a potting mix that the bag there's two bags in there that's sitting there and the plastic or the wrapper or the wrapping has already uh withered away and you can see that the whole area here i really need to clean up because it's embarrassing to the neighbors and also oh this one see look at this bamboo this bamboo i bought three of them because they were on sale they were six dollars each i can't believe it so i said i was gonna extend the sides there but uh i need those bamboo i got more things they're actually durable so for six dollars i mean each can't go wrong and what happened to you? So this one is, I bet you, uh, it's moist. Oh, look how big this um, agavoid is here. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. That is huge. That's beautiful. I need to pull you out. This is, I think, mountain pepper. That's it. So apparently you drink the leaves and stuff like that. And, oh, I can't get over how big this is. But anyway, that needs to be moved. This was Sempervivum. That needs to be cleaned up. And also, I've got my, so i got stuff everywhere, you know, I hate for, uh, well, at least it's sort of hidden from the street, but this one I got a scaffold, and I was meaning to demolish this, uh, these bits here, I was going to use that to build shelves at the back, but didn't get around to it so uh that's been sitting there for the last seven years or eight years so the scaffold i have to install at the front of the house i have to clean up all this area here look at all that so because the tree has dropped its leaves and needs to be cleaned up i need to trim this area as well so the problem when i planted all these ones before is hubby <laughs> because I'm trying to find a spot to plant my fruit trees he never wanted me to have fruit trees so that was oh hang on this one too I have to chop 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 that I have to get rid of that because you can't have that on the outside here because if someone walks here and they get um, spike with these things they can sue you <laughs> I mean people come to your garden and then they get spiked by an agave and then they can sue you anyway so this one is my fruit this is fijoa so the first time i harvested some fruit on this one i brought it inside harvey was amazed that oh where did you get that fruit i said the front yard and then he said we got fruit trees i said yep but i have to hide it from him so this one i was planning to remove it before because the other plant there coprosma or something that yellow one it was golden before it was variegated look See, that actually is supposed to have this gold corner there, gold corner here, and another one over there. But that one died, so these are the only two that survived. And so I thought the fijoa, if I plant it there, then when it grows, uh, hubby wouldn't even notice it, which did, he did not. Anyway, and then that one is a lily, uh, some sort of elderberry. Yeah, so you can see. <laughs> I've been hiding so many things from him, and especially the pomegranate over there. I have no choice but to just bonsify that, because he doesn't want any fruit trees. So anyway, guys, <laughs> sounds like I'm complaining about hubby. Yes, in a way, because now, I have to start all over again and I have to redo my garden 
according to how I want it. So by the way, that bamboo there. So I really want those bamboos. I want to put like a barrier here so that way it can be sort of private. Unless they look very closely because I've got the chair there as well or the seat, the stool that I can sit on and have my kappa while enjoying all the greeneries. <laughs> and the brownies over here anyway guys that's all i've got for this video thank you so much for putting up with me and also <laughs> look beautiful hi the sun is not right but anyway so this arrangement or this planter here has stood the test of time so it's been there for yonks a long 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 time and all the plants are still alive and yet i haven't even looked after them uh, Bini Jesseru, I think, is in the center, those ones there. And all of that is actually uh, Sasa Queen, yes. Sasa Queen, they're all Sasa Queens. The whole lot of them, look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. I'm forced to watch TV <laughs> because Pedro wants to. What do you want to do? You want to go bonding with mommy, aren't you? So, baby, he can be happy again. So, he's happy a while ago. He was. Uh, clicking, clacking, making noise with his beak, aren't you, baby pee? Oh, oh, good boy. Okay, you stay there. I won't kick you off, okay? We watch the chaser. It's almost finished, okay? 